Hi everyone, it's Rachel here and I'm just going to turn the camera on and hopefully the electrician doesn't arrive because he's supposed to come in 45 minutes but um, he could be, you know, he could arrive early. I'm just going to continue on from yesterday with some of these things that I pulled out. What's this one? Oh, that's the, the page hanger thing that I had clipped. See, I had clipped pockets to this one because it wasn't long enough to do um, an outside pocket. So I'll just keep that clipped there. Yeah, it wasn't. Oh, also, um, a person mentioned that theirs had ripped. Maybe the paper wasn't very strong or something. Um, and she hinged hers, which is another good way you can do it. You can hinge them as well. Um, yeah, you can hinge them. So that's enough. That's too deep, that pocket. But we might do that one. We'll see. Um, I had one of these. I haven't glued it down very well. I'll probably just take that off because I'm going to cover it anyway. So I will cover that and I'm going to do a pocket for this one. I'm just going to take that bit off. And that also is not glued too well, so that way I can just... Um... So I pulled my arm up. It had remained... I'm sorry, I was a little bit off screen apparently yesterday. So the arm... Um had remained down from when I was I had pulled it down for to show those journals the other day so um, sorry I didn't realize it was so low so I pulled it up it's probably too high now but I guess you'll let me know if it's too high and I will try and bring it down a bit so I love these types of pockets oh right I ripped that in half I don't need to have it double because um, I'm going to collage on it anyway. So I really don't need it to be double. I'm just gonna cut that off. Okay, cool. So we'll do a couple of those. Oh, I need to do this type of pocket. Now here, I'm going to cut this off and use this as a corner pocket. I mean like a triangle pocket. And then I'll collage on the other one so it will be stronger. And I also don't like the really pointy corners. So I snip those off. I need all manner of pockets. I have run out. This one's very big. I don't need it that big. So I'm going to snip that off. And that. Okay. Right. So what I've learned, I used to do everything double, but because I used to think, oh, I've got to have cardstock. But as you know, I didn't use cardstock so much. Um, but I don't have to have cardstock. Um, now I might do a couple of wraparounds here. So I'm going to fold this like that just so I remember. I like the ones that wrap around the edge of the page. I guess this is a little bit of mass making. Now that is still a full envelope. So. I'll just grab this. I think that one's already open, but it's crooked, so I might as well trim that off. that for something. Um, I think I'll do a wrap around with that one as well. But with no window. And that I will fold down like so. Okay. Now this 
these three I'm going to make into the belly bands. I'm going to trim a little bit off. I just could do it all together, couldn't I? I like the window belly bands. I can't remember. Who did they see that from? I think I might have seen it from Treasure Books. More or less, you know, equidistant. There we go. Take that off. And they are ready to become belly bands. And we have another one here. This can just be the base for a pocket. Sometimes it's just nice to have the shape there ready to go and it just inspires you to do something with it. Okay, let's do a few of these because these take a while just because you've got, you know, the little bit up here that you've got to do. But I have lots of strips and I really need to use those. That strip there is going to be perfect for down there. So let's just take... So how is everyone today? I hope you're well. I'm doing a morning video and then I'm going to start in the afternoon, but you won't see it. I'm going to start my um, other series that I said I wanted to do um, and I'll prepare, start pre-preparing those videos for when I go away at the end of next week. So that way um, they will be ready um, and you will have videos while I'm away that there and this one should I might put that a bit lower and then I'll have a strip going across there you see so I've got two for the price of one maybe we could lay them out and work on them all together at the same time how about that put those over there I was just lucky to find this strip Let's pull out that doesn't have much on it, but it would do the job, wouldn't it? I could put it no, I think I like it there. So let's trim this one down in the spirit of using things up. Let me just see how we're going. Now I think I'm too far out, so I think I'll zoom in a little bit. And I need to bring, I'm going to bring the arm over here. That's my issue. The arm moved. I've got to bring it over here so it's not chopping off the bottom because I do tend to work obviously towards myself because otherwise I can't see what I'm doing. I like to have them a bit closer. So how, I hope that's better. I should tap it to make, oh, I think it looks in focus. Yeah. Okay. Sitting on the edge of my chair, that's a that's a um, that's a disaster waiting to happen. There we go. Now I could put this one across there like that. Yes, I'll just glue it on and then trim it off. You could wrap it around, but I don't want to add more bulk to it, so I'm not going to wrap it around. I'm just going to. Oh, I need to slide it over a bit. Oops, I dropped it. So hopefully I get my video done. It doesn't matter, I can pause it. If the electrician comes, I can pause it and then um, start off again. Now someone asked me what was this polka dot paper. This is from Digital Curio. Um, I want to see if I've got a more narrow one. So because they, Yeah, that's it's one of her, their wallpaper sort of ones that they have. These are good. I don't know why I'm worrying about that edge. I'm going to cut, trim it anyway. I'll put that one. I might use this bit over here. So if you do have the little strips ready to go, it is quite convenient. And these, they're just from when I'm, you know, trimming down papers for journals. You know, maybe I have to trim them down to fit the size of the book. And so I just keep these little bits because I know they come in handy. 
I do throw some out, but I keep most of them. That one doesn't need it. That one's already done. So it is kind of, sometimes it can be confusing working across the board on multiple, and sometimes it's better. So this one, I'm going to just have it go to there, and then I will have another piece going right up, I think. Me thinks. It's very muggy outside today. I've been to the post office. I got my vitamin D at the post office, I will say that. But um, yes, I think I should um, probably supplement my vitamin D. I know most people are lacking it. And some of you mentioned that in the comments. It might be one of the reasons I was feeling so. Thing. I, know it, I know it's the heat. That I'm always like this in summertime. I am always have very low energy levels in the summertime. It's just, it's always the same for me every year. Um, let's see. I've got this paper. But it is plain. But it is not. I like that edge. I'd like to keep that edge. I'll put it on. Maybe this one. So let's, I, I might have trouble gluing it, we'll see, we'll see how we go. I've just got to be careful, so maybe I'll use the wet glue. Will the wet glue glue it down on the window? I don't know. I know my Giotto glue is very um, strong. Now, here we go, here's a lesson for you. So some, I can't remember who, but someone said in the comments, I've just been answering comments, I've got way behind. I've never been so far behind in my whole life, but I've, I'm catching up. Um, anyway, she said, oh, when you say Giotto, it sounds like J-O-T-T-O. -T -T -O. Correct, it does sound like that because G-I in Italian creates the J sound, the J sound. So that is why it sounds like that. So if you hear J, like Giovanni, or um, Giotto, or Giornale, it's all beginning with G-O, G-I, G-I. So G-I is J. That's how they get the J. They don't have the J in their alphabet, um, and so they get the J sound with the G-I. There you go. So correct, yes, it does sound like J. Um, I've got this piece here that I could tear with my... We are Memory Keepers ruler. Tear it at the top. There we go. Good way to use up your scraps. And I think I like, isn't it funny how you like them more on one than another? And here I'll just run some glue down there and then use the wet glue. Hopefully I don't go all over my table. one I liked it on this one it's a little bit too wide I don't want to lose my real estate in my window so I could actually I might just fold I hope it doesn't cause me issues but I might fold that one over okay cool and I've got one more to put there and I was thinking I might like uh, some book page. So let me see in here. I want to use my scraps. Oh, isn't that lovely? I could have used that. Oh, and I can use that. There we go. A little piece of script. Just tear it off there. Run my glue along. I need to start exercising again, guys. I stopped. Um when we were packing and I have not started again and now we're going away and I keep thinking well what's the point I'm going away and I won't be able to exercise there except you know maybe have a swim and stuff although I should start because then we will swim a bit even though I won't be living at the beach as I told you because I'll just melt Okay, I love that. Okay, now they're coming along and all they need is something here now. So that didn't take, it's kind of good working on three, I think. Now, let's see what I have. I'm not going to make them writing spots. 
let's put all of those in the scrap bin so we don't get out of control. I'll put that there. I think I should throw that out, but then you know, might find a use for it. Put that there in the little packet that can go up there. Those can go up there. Okay, just getting myself in order here. Oh, I've still got those to do as well. I'll do those off camera. We did those yesterday. Um, oh, there was a good piece. That was a good piece. We'll put that up there. Don't throw those things out. Okay, let's see. I'm thinking, I think I might like that on there. I'm going to tear that down, but I'm thinking I might like to tear it down a lot and have some old um, book page peekabooing out from behind. I'm just going to see. I'll tear it where I can vaguely see the confines of the image. Three faint. And then I'll decide. Yes, it does need something so I can tear. I'll tear more up. I just, oh, what about? Well, I might put that there and then something on there. How about that? That's a good one. I love it when you use the things that are on your table. And I, I'm happy that I, I kind of, every, usually I've been, um, since I came, moved back in here, um, I've been putting everything away which is good because I'm not getting out of control because everything has a spot now. It's wonderful. Um, so I can have a, I can come in with a clear table every day. But yesterday I didn't. Yesterday was a really busy day. I had to do that poopy accounting. I've still got to do more of that. Um, it's taking forever. Gosh, it's a nightmare. Um, so I, um, I didn't put away yesterday. I was in a bit of a spin. And, um, and I'll just trim the excess off and I've done a little booby there but that's okay you can patch it with something else um so yeah I have been coming tidying everything up every day um yesterday I didn't obviously you saw the same mess as after the end of the but I wanted to continue on so and I'm kind of happy I didn't tidy up because I'm just great pulling things from the little pile of stuff that I had pulled out yesterday and it seems to be touch wood let's not jinx ourselves because we're moving along quickly but it does seem to be working for me today just slide that along i love i love that you can with the glue stick you can just slide things along position them where you want them to go and i can trim that off i'm also not letting the paper get out of control in my garbage bin it is usually overflowing onto the floor and i don't like that in my new plate in my new old place um so i've been keeping my garbage under control it's wonderful it's just just love it i knew that i'd be happy when i moved back in here okay so that's that and i'll fix that up afterwards let's just move on to these and get the bottom of these done and I need to just, oh, I've got this lovely big, oh, this is nice paper, this one. I think I've been using this one quite a lot lately. It has the big borders around. I keep some of these borders, but not all of them. Because, you know, it gets out of control. I have to measure it. Let's just take the top off, because I don't want the top. And I may end up deciding to use it for both I am going to put I can do it like that I'll do it a little bit bigger than what I need I like the watermark on there probably end up being covered anyway but we'll see I can keep that bit and I'll keep it a little bit longer you could actually fold it up and create a pocket you know, you could have another pocket there, but you wouldn't want, I don't think I would want, you know, sort of like a, a, t a tag shooting up there and covering my window because that kind of defeats the purpose. I'm not struggling as much as yesterday. <laughs> Might struggle later. Excuse me, piece of paper, do as you're told. 
Just line it up on one side and then trim off the others. Flip it over, flatten it out in there. that one. Isn't it amazing how sometimes things just can sometimes come easier one day. One, You know, they come easier to you in one session and another session it's a struggle. It's just interesting how that happens. Some videos are slow paced, aren't they? And some videos are well, sessions, because it can be a session, not necessarily videoing, crafting session. Some are fast-paced and some are slow-paced. Okay, and we'll put another piece of paper down there. Why not? And I'm looking around here. I don't know. I don't want to put anything plain. Oh, I love that paper. That would be sideways. I think I'm going to glue. Look, I've got these scrappy bits here too. I'm going to glue that on there and create a... Excuse me while I digress and move on to something else. Totally. Well, it can be a side tuck or a belly band. But that piece was just perfect. Or almost perfect for one of these. So might as well glue it down while we're at it. In the spirit of lovely Tina's making okay so that's on there and then I need to put something else and I might as well do that here while I'm at it I'm sorry I'm just off on a tangent oh and I like the clashiness of that and I can trim that bit off there's a bit of white there I'll just trim that off and there you go, I've used another strip. And now I'll have to go over here onto my glue book for the strip because I'm going to use my glue stick and it will go everywhere. That's just my computer. Oh, it's a antivirus notification, nothing serious. I've turned it on because I'm going to watch later when I, if I get a chance to craft, make, do some stuff, I will watch some videos I'm always behind with my video watching Rhonda I'm wondering how your holiday is going I'm hoping you're having a wonderful isn't that pretty hoping you're having a wonderful time okay so let's see here what little piece no little pieces there of the type that I'm thinking oh what about this I don't well I could trim it down I like that there and it's sideways I don't care I'm going to trim down that that belly band because not all um journals are that tall and sometimes I don't mind if it's I, think I like that bit there I sometimes I don't mind if it's um I'll just wrap that around um a bit shorter than the page that's what I'm trying to say so I think I'll just grab my scissors and quite often I have to trim them down anyway just trim that off my scissors are a growing paper here okay cool so they just need to be dec oh one I was going to put this and I nearly forgot I can't remember which one. I think it was going to be on this one. Yeah. Or, no, this one. So I'll glue that on.
maybe I would like it on that one. No, this one. Let's stick with the plan. Oh, I love that. I think that's really pretty. And that's and that will go then. This, this is too tall, but that will be a belly band or a side tuck on a page. And I love that. And I could... Do I want anything else? I don't think so. I really, really am happy. I'm not going to... Oh, interest. Well, that could be cute on there, but no, I'm not going to add any more. So there's one done. And they came together quickly because, well, in my opinion, um, because um, normally when you do um, envelopey sort of things and you've got all these patchworky things you've got to do, they do, they can take, that's too big. So I can't, oh, these, I've got these, I love these. I'm going to go and print them up again if I don't have them already printed out. Um, they can take, you know, a while to do because there's a lot of little bits you need to put on. The thing I do recommend for this type of thing that you keep, I'm going to put that there. Oh no, I like it more there. Let's see this one if this one's going to work. Otherwise, we'll search for something else. Um, keep your strips because they really do help the process when you're doing these. And you see, isn't that funny? I like that one more there and the other one more on the other one. Really pleased to have those done. Now, I think this is blocked. I keep a, a bent pin here. Seems to be coming out. Seems to go in. Okay. Now it's coming out. There must have been something there. Blocking it. I did try to make sure I close it because one time I left it open while I was working and uh, it seemed to get some sort of blockage. Like that one. I've got a messy, messy table now. And I love this one. I love all the colours in this. So I'm probably mostly... Yes, I would say mostly the kits that I used yesterday, so they'll be pretty similar to yesterday's. In the description box. You could go around the windows with a black pen and do mark making if you wanted to. That could look effective. I think I'll leave it for these ones. I love those. So they're done. Put those up there so I don't lose them. Now, I wanted to do... Oh, this is just going to be a rectangular pocket. Oh, I've got this one. Let's finish this. This is super pretty. I wonder if there's something tall here. What else do I have flying around? I want to do this, but that's like... That's, um, you know, like journal card sort of thing. So I don't want to do that. You know, that one I could glue on one of those pages. That goes up there. Oh, look, here's, there's more. There's more things to work on. So we'll, we're just going to keep at it until it's done. Here we go. This is interesting. Oh, I quite like that. No, it's too big. I could tear it down. I'm going to tear off the border. I don't have to keep the border. Let's see what it looks like if I tear off the border. blends in but I quite like it you know what I could do is because it blends in I need to find some you could put a little piece of something behind it to I might put that down there to separate it and then something up there to separate it I wonder what this would look like Oh, yeah. Oh, put that on top. No. Underneath. Put that behind it. Just sort of distinguishes the image from the background. That there. And this one down below. 
there's another side tuck belly band thing happening. just trying to whiz along here because it's about 15 minutes until he says he said Steph rang me and told me he was coming so and then I'll have to go ruining my fun there we go I know it's very blendy I could take now if it doesn't work it's just paper do little edges around it like a frame. That's what I'm going to do. A little bit of mark making. Sometimes you just like, that's just nice when you add a little bit of marks. I know some of you don't like these marks, but I like them. Takes a little minute to do them. I nearly went around the bottom of the book page. It's like a little frame around the pretty picture. There we go. Done. Okay, so that's done. Now, I had, what did I do with the other pocket? Did I do the other pocket? I don't think so. I've lost it. Here it is. Let's do this. See, this could just literally just glue on there. It can be a side tuck or a belly band. Or it can be a journal card. That's going to be good on there. I'll do that after. It's just a simple fact of gluing. And I might put a label on it. I wanted to put something on here. First of all, I might just glue that paper down. I might even... I could put it there and wrap it over just so it's stronger at the top. Let's do that. So sometimes, yeah, as I said, I do like to work with a thinner layer because um, I, sometimes when I'm going to glue them into the journals, they are very stiff. And they're not so stiff like this, probably crooked. You know, it's just, I'm just covering up 1900s paper that, that doesn't rock my boat so much. I wanted to see if I had something decorative in here. Oh, no, not that one. Oh, that's vellum. Well, I guess we could have... Oh, now what about a piece of this? This is just... I want a piece of packing paper. No. Okay. Let's see. Well, I think that would be the most... A very pretty pocket that I know will cover everything up that I just put on so I won't use that. I'm going to go into my trusty box here and see what else I've got. Oh, I haven't used this. It was the periwinkle and coral one. I'm going to use that. They were fun kits actually. They took a while actually to make. It wouldn't seem like it but they did. Um, but they're fun kits because you get so many little bits and pieces to use of all different varieties. I'm thinking this is going to be very pretty. And I haven't done that before. Put it that way. I don't want to lose all my writing because I like that. So I think I'll just glue it on and, like I have been doing before, um, trim it down. So I don't even think, except for the top there, I don't really need to use my wet glue because I'm going to be trimming most of it off. So just flip it over and it's crooked. 
but it doesn't look crooked there. And there I have a, a little pocket that is not, oh, this is crooked, that is not too stiff. And that was my goal. And I could finish it up. Well, I put a, a little snippy snip there. I could come in possibly with... Yeah, drop everything and just put those there. I've got some washi tapes here. I think one of these in the blues is going to be nice. One or this one. Oh, this is one of those paper ones. They're a little bit difficult to get off they've got a really sticky um, bit on them there so I didn't get the other pockets done I'll have to do those another time I think oh, that's not going to come off so let's just tear this you can tear them I don't know why I'm cutting them they are hard there we go. And put that there. Yes, I like that. And do I want um, a little something on there that you could write on or not? I might not. We'll just have a little look. Just have a little look page one down there I wouldn't put it up there because it's the same level as the as the um, no as the um, what I'm trying to, what am I trying to say as the the washi this little teeny tiny mini no blends in no label just leave it like that so there we go we've got a pocket so I think I'll end my video here because the electrician is coming and they're pretty on time, people. Um, so we've just made a few pockets and belly bands. So I've got that one, that one, and the windows. Need to make more of those. I like those. So there we go. So we'll continue on with our... It's kind of like a, a mass making, but not making millions. Um, but, you you know, if you're mass making, you'd prepare like 10 of these bases. You'd cut them down, and then you'd collage all across the top, collage down the sides, and then down the bottom. That's how I'd approach it if I was making multiples. Same with these, lay them all out, these strips, lay them all out and cover them and then finish them off sort of thing. So there we go. So we've got far, four, five little bits done. So I hope you enjoyed that, just a casual um, crafting session. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.